now we'll discuss about the strobe guideline so strobe stands for observational studies so strobe guideline it is used for reporting the observational studies and strobe stands for strengthening and reporting of observational studies in epidemiology okay strobe like consort is designed to strengthen the completeness accuracy and transparency of health research involving observational studies strobe focuses on three main research designs that is cohort case control and cross sectional studies and provides checklist for each of these observational study designs okay so these uh, strobe guidelines are also like consort guidelines which are designed to strengthen the completeness and accuracy and also the transparency of the research studies which are following the study design of observation like the behavioral studies okay and there are three main types of studies which are focused that is cohort case control and cross sectional studies so there is a separate checklist for uh, cohort case control and cross sectional studies are also available and there is a combined checklist which is also available so here in this class we'll discuss the combined checklist and what are the point of differentiation so that i will tell you that at at what points you have to like uh, it will be different for each type of study so first is the strobe statement uh, like checklist of items that should be included in reports of observational studies so first is the title and abstract so in the title you have to mention that which type of study it is whether it is a cohort study whether it is a cross sectional study or whether it is a case control study and what are the variables which are being studied so that also you have to mention then after that you have to write the abstract so again you have to write the abstract in a structured manner and uh, uh, so you have to give a informative and balanced summary of what was done and what was found then after that you have to write the introduction so introduction in that you will explain about the background and rationale what is the objective so that will be same like for all type of studies like you have to write what is the background of the study what is the hypothesis behind doing this study and what is the objective of doing this study then after that when you are writing the method so when you are writing the study design so the study design will differ so this uh, so if it is a cross sectional study you have to write the study design accordingly so depending upon that what type of study it is like whether it is a cohort study cross sectional study or case control study the study design will differ then after that you have to write about the setting so uh, where the study was conducted what is the period of recruitment first of all you have to write and where the study was conducted what is the setting locations and uh, then you have to write about the follow up and data collection so that is uh, you that you have to mention in the setting then after that you have to write about the participants so uh, the eligibility of so you have to write about what is the eligibility criteria for the participants like uh, it is cohort study what is a uh, like how the participants are recruited what is the eligibility criteria so eligibility criteria for recruiting the participants it will differ on the basis of the study that what type of study it is whether it is a cohort study or a cross sectional study or a case control study okay then what are the variables which are being studied like exposure predictors and so what are the variables which are being studied like in the example i have told you there are two variables in the study that is smoking and respiratory disease so here what are the variables which are being studied so that you have to mention then after that you have to mention about the sample size that what is the sample size what are the data sources from where the data is available then what are the statistical method now the statistical analysis that is also done depending upon that what type of study it is so depending on that that uh, the statistical analysis or the explanation of statistical methods will also differ okay so depending upon that what type of study it is cohort study cross sectional study or case control study the uh, the uh, statistical analysis will also differ okay then after that up uh, you have to write about the results so in this you have to explain about the flow of participants so the flow of participants can be uh, studied uh, accordingly okay so it will be studied accordingly as it is studied uh, in the other uh, uh, in the uh, other type of studies like in the consort and trend we have discussed that how you will discuss the flow of participants so in the same way you have to discuss the flow of participants here also okay by using the same flow chart then you have to give the data about the 
participants like the demographic characteristics okay and here uh, here because the participants they may be the inpatients or they belong to a community center or something so we have to write about the clinical information and social information also about the participants and to what variable they are being exposed to so depending upon that uh, whatever variable is being studied and their exposure what is their exposure level that also you have to discuss then outcome so what is the outcome what is the outcome which is being studied so depending on that what is the outcome like what is the outcome for the cohort studies cross -section, cross sectional studies and case control study so depending upon that whatever type of study it is you can write about the outcome the primary outcome or the secondary outcome and also you can write about that how these outcomes are being measured so that also you can write then after that in the then after result you have to write about the discussion and then what are the main results which are obtained from the studies so depending upon that what type of study it is you have to write about the result so uh, for cross sectional study what is the result for the observation uh, like this case control study and cohort study that will differ depending upon the study design okay then uh, the discussion so the same thing you have to discuss here all in, also in the discussion first you have to summarize the uh, information which you have got from the result the interpretation then you have to discuss the limitation like what is the limitation of the study then you have to discuss about the strength what is the strength of the study and uh, then you have to explain about that what is the generalizability or what is the future of the study uh, which is done then after that you can give the additional information also like information about funding what is the role of funders the study is funded or not Okay, so that all information you can share.